Hi, I'm Susan Whitmore. Having to go on in life after your child has died is the worst thing you will ever have to endure. You are about to meet some extraordinary people who have done just that. Together we share our stories of loss, pain, and hopelessness. And then how we rebuilt our lives to once again include new meaning, joy, and happiness. I am much stronger than I ever thought I was. I have a little angel sitting on my shoulder. I can look at pictures and stuff now, and that, that really doesn't bother me. I had to, you know, pull myself together for the dog, if nothing else. <laughs> Not for me, <laughs> for the dog. As you journey with us, please consider this a gift from our hearts to yours. St. Augustine was once asked about life after death and what it was like. He kind of put it in a very poetic way. He talked about the image of a group of people standing on a seashore and they're looking out at the sea and there's a ship, a three-masted sailing schooner. And they look at the ship and they see the ship is, is moving away from them and they feel that distance. But they notice the ship is just as beautiful and strong as it was when it was close to them, that it still carries the same cargo it did when it was close to them. And they stand there on the shore and they look out at the ship until it grows further and further away and they feel more and more distance until the ship is just a speck where the sea meets the sky. And then it's gone. And they say to themselves, he or she are gone. At that same moment, on the other shore, a group of people standing on the shore looking out at the horizon and they see a speck coming toward them and they say, here he or she come. And Augustine said, and that is life and that is death and that